There's really no safe place. A man walks outside to find much more than his truck stolen from the church parking lot. The Eighth Commandment, thou yeah. shalt not steal. Uh, we aren't that surprised when it gets broken, I guess, but uh, we also don't expect it to happen in the church parking lot. Jason Colthar reports in this case is testing the faith of a young man trying to support his family. Terry Bailey was only 20 minutes into rehearsal here at church Saturday night when he came out to check on his truck and trailer full of commercial lawn equipment. But all he found was an empty parking lot and evidence that someone had driven off with his entire business. Whoever took it, they got out that way. That way is across the lawn of the Fountain Worship Center Church, where you can still see the tire tracks. Terry owns Bailey's Services, a young lawn care company that also plows in the winter. But the theft Saturday got everything. His F-350 plow truck, a brand new trailer hauling his two zero-turn mowers, two weed whackers, and two blowers. Altogether, it's about $14,000 in losses. We will be coming a legit business. Surveillance cameras across the street show Bailey turning onto Mac from Mount Elliott at 5.47 p.m., but there's no sign of anyone following him. <laughs> Bailey volunteers at the church playing drums in a traveling church band, and to get ripped off in the parking lot is tough to take. It's pretty disappointing, but, you know, um, my faith is being tested right now, and I know for a fact that some way, somehow, God's going to bless me. Bailey is trying to hold on to his 20 accounts that he serviced mostly on the weekend as he and his wife and his young son try to make the company their full-time job. They took my equipment. They didn't take my dream. I always wanted to own the business, and I still want to give my customers the best product that I have. So you best believe I'm still going to work my butt off to give them that. Well, right now, those dreams seem to be hanging on by a weed-whacking thread. He's borrowing his dad's riding lawnmower to get by with his business. And so far, friends and family have raised a couple hundred bucks on a GoFundMe account, which we've linked to on this story at ClickOnDetroit.com. On the east side, Jason Colthorpe, Local 4. And we just received some good news on this story. Late this afternoon, police did recover Bailey's truck, though right now there is no sign of the equipment. We'll stay on it.